that real shit, yo. Butterfly in the sky. Hey, I'm Jalen. And I'm Jada. Let's get it And we out here in these streets. My nigga. Reading rainbow. You think it's a game? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the podcast. Woo! Episode 12. Episode 12. Last podcast of the year. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot of discussions, y'all. Yeah. Just want to start by saying thanks for rocking with us. We not going nowhere. Nah. Ooh, not shaggy. <laughs> but thanks for rocking with us and listening. And, you know, we be having a good time. These discussions, they definitely helped us uh, get some things out. Yeah. Map some things out that's been uh boiling up in our minds. Yeah, it's definitely been a uh a blessing to talk to my best friend, mm-hmm. you know, on a bi weekly basis and just sit um and have a chat and to be able to share our thoughts and kinda grow together. Mm-hmm. Um and to have y'all supporting is Fire as hell. So thanks. Ow, my ink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this week, um, I mean, all together, you, y'all you know kind of what we've been talking about. All of it blends together and flows well. Oh, I'm too loud. I'm sorry. It's okay. Earlier, you couldn't hear shit. <laughs> but um, it all blends together. You know, we're just talking about steps to get to where we're trying to be in life. You know, live the life that we deserve to live. Not just the two of us, but all of us. And that brings us to our topic today into continuing on that journey. And we always say, it starts with yourself. So we're going to get into some self-care today. So I've been thinking recently, um, I was reading a book. That's where this topic came from. (laughs) But I was thinking uh, recently that, like, humans are very complex when you sit and think about it. And we take on a lot of stuff in our daily life. And sometimes you need a little maintenance so you can keep it going. You know, we put so much money into maintenance on a car some headphones i'm sitting here with some broken headphones (laughs) you know you put money into that and you got to put some stuff into yourself so that you can recharge and take on life so when you when you sit and think like about it what kind of self-care is it or what kind of maintenance do you put into yourself so that you can continue on Mm. Uh, a big one and a obvious one that I don't do well is making sure I feed myself the calories that I need. Mm-hmm. Not just like, you know, sit down and scarf 1,200 calories in one sitting, you know, but actually um, have a time where you sit and relax versus like eating on the go or like I only have this amount of time to eat because it really does make a difference in how you digest your food how you feel about food like your um your relationship with food yeah that's that's my thing is is like the types of food Mm -hmm. I'm not really putting anything in my body that is actually fueling me Mm -hmm. i'm just putting in stuff that tastes good (laughs) but then i was talking to uh yesterday to some co-workers about this where it's like y'all i'm tired of eating you know yeah you just get tired of it yeah and it's like a lot of work to find the right things and make meals and stuff and i think it just i think it seems like a lot of work but it's so much more satisfying to it is. make things that you actually want to eat that you put in the time to make yourself yeah 
And that's why this episode is sponsored by Hell. I'm joking. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were just talking about like the different, like we just grab stuff and go because mm-hmm. it's convenient. Yeah. But, you know, you actually got to put in certain things so that you can keep going. And then you just get tired. I just get tired of eating because I'm eating the same crap. That's not really doing anything for me. It just drags your body yeah. down more. And then you just be hungry mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of being hungry and eating. And sometimes I'd be tired of chewing. Yeah. And then it just it's just like, why am I eating this? So you got to start uh, putting the right things in your body and taking out the time to do that. Because that's a big thing. That's literally the fuel for you. Your body does so much yes. for you. You need to give. Yeah. Body back is to very your important. Body. body is very important. That's what we're talking about right now. Drink water. Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> I have to get. I um I left my water bottle at work and them heifers threw it away, so I have to get another um thirty two ounce water bottle. But having a w- big water bottle with a straw mm-hmm. has made such a well, it not currently because I don't got that shit, but it made such a big difference in how much water I was intaking because it's something about a straw. It's something about versus like for opening me, the bottle and my water my bottle mouth. was doing good for a minute. I have one of the ones that has like the different uh, times throughout the day. Um, and then I don't have the huge one, so you do have to refill it once. But having the times helped me. Mm hmm. And having a goal on how much to drink. And I was doing good for a while. But some I've fallen off. And sometimes I fall off because I get tired of having to go to the bathroom all the time. Yeah, it'd be me And I can't mad. be running to the bathroom every time I'm out so much when I'm at work, mm-hmm. you know? Also, you can't get away that quickly. You know how to combat that? Drink more, more healthy salts. <laughs> so, like, almonds is a good way to mm-hmm. combat uh having to use the bathroom all the time, that means you don't have enough salt in your body to hold on to the water. So that's another thing. You can drink a crap ton of water, but if it's all coming out as soon as you drink it, then it's not, your body's not retaining it. There's like so much that goes into nutrition um, that I actually want to try to see if I can like, get some type of class or like certification or something so it makes more sense um i'm a fitness instructor but i feel like i only know about the one i only know about pilates Mm -hmm. but i feel like at a certain point i need to be able to talk about the body as a whole like really be able to like yeah dive into what people need so that i can serve myself and them better yeah that makes sense but yeah drink your water stop stop drinking soda y'all it's gonna slow you down you'll never that used you'll to never be me. PR. that used to be me you'll, you'll never beat your personal to be record. on the sprite all the time drinking it like it was water that I thing did. was crazy you've come a long way friend. i can't even i don't even drink soda anymore I hardly drink any juice. You've come a long I way. I just drink water. So when I'm not drinking water, I'm not drinking anything. I'm just thirsty. Uh, <laughs> I drink water, coffee, tea. I drink tea. And, and margarita. I'm a tea person. But we don't, we don't, yeah, I drink that too. But we, we're, we don't we're drink. We're not big drinkers. A lot. Not at all. We don't even have anything in that. Oh, wait, I lied. We do, but it's we haven't drank there. it. We don't it's want from that. September. That we about good. to throw that shit out. Um, <laughs> But yeah, the food, water, and stuff, and you know, that helps your body feel good. And then you got the other part, you know, you got two fitness instructors sitting right here who don't do no type of exercise. (laughs) In my defense, I be trying. It's just not consistent. I just, it's something about just being drained. When I'm, when I'm done for the day I don't I don't want to do anything but just lay in my bed and then when I try to get up in the morning I can barely get up for work nowadays my thing for me is that my schedule is not a set schedule 
Mm-hmm. So I would want to get up in the morning and I could if I had a time every day where I could do so. Mm-hmm. But some days I'm, I have to get up earlier to go to work. Mm-hmm. And then some days I have to close at work. So I'm not trying to get up until it's time to go to close. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So and then sometimes it would be like, all right, I'll go after work. Nah, but then it's just it's it's hard when I don't have a set schedule. schedule. It could it's hard happen. when you have a set schedule too. Yes. <laughs> it's just it's just having the discipline to make it happen. Mm. And we talked about this briefly, but clearly I don't I don't be having the discipline to do a lot of things. Neither do I. I don't be finishing thirty books, days. Friend. Thirty days. Yeah, you that's that's really all it takes. Thirty days. That's all it takes to break a consecutively. Habit. Yeah, to break a habit. I could do it. Mm-hmm. I I could. <laughs> yeah, it could be done. But yeah, I'm um. The the physical fitness, and I think what's also um. Makes it seem more complicated than it actually is. You don't even need that much. Mm -mm. Your body just needs something. You could go out for like a 10 minute walk. Yeah. And call that your physical fitness. I'd be walking all day. I'd be like, I don't want to walk no more. But it's a different kind of walk. Yeah, I know. I know it's a different building. I know it's a different kind, but that's how I'd be feeling because I'd be walking on concrete all day. (laughs) It should be hurting. (laughs) But yeah, so you got the exercise and then. You also, because even if you're not somebody that exercises, you up and you doing stuff, you doing something, going to work. Yeah. You out and about shopping, whatever it is that you do, you doing something. And or just emotions and stuff can take a toll on your body as well. Mm -hmm. So you also have to put in some time to allow your body to rest and I'm not talking about sleep rest. I'm talking about like actual like I don't know if this is the right term like active rest. Is that a is that a real thing? Is yeah, that the right active term? active rest is a real thing. Yeah, it's the, like what we used to do in um, the dance classes when the, you would just lay down and in the the fitness world, active rest would be like. I weight train six days a week and on the seventh day I do yoga. So my body is still moving, but it's a rejuvenation. Mm -hmm. That would be active rest. What we did in dance is like... That's not the word I'm looking for then. What we did in dance is like, um, they call it active rest because your core is engaged in that position, but none of the rest of your body has tension in it yeah i use it as a form of meditation for myself now so it's like when you (laughs) when you lay down and you allow your body to like really relax you never you never realize how much tension your body is actually holding Mm -hmm. onto yeah that shit would be crazy like really let allow your body to relax it takes a while for it to do it but if you just lay there and breathe and like focus on one part all right let the shoulders come down let your arm your fingers oh i really like the um uh the headspace app it has a really good like wind down mm-hmm. it's called the wind down and it it talks about your body as if it's like a, a circuit with like light bulbs mm-hmm. And it like takes you through, like you're saying, piece by piece, like from the toes all the way to the top of the head. Yeah. I also like the um, the one we would do with the partner where they would like take your arm and like move it around and you have to let them move it. Yeah. That was hardest for me. I'm always trying to, my body be trying to help. <laughs> it don't be wanting to relax. But even like um, relaxing your jaw. Yeah. I'm I'm a teeth grinder too. So we learned this in um one of my acting classes. Um, but let your tongue fall down like to the bottom of your mouth because mm-hmm. usually it's like on the roof of your mouth. Let your tongue be like towards the bottom, and that allows your jaw to open up and relax. 
your tongue's not necessarily relaxing. It's a weird thing. But if you let it hang there for a while, your jaw will start to open up. I'm trying to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Down? Yeah, just like instead of it being up here or in the middle, wherever it is, you just let it rest. Your tongue is never really resting, but let it rest at the on the bottom instead of at the roof, like here. And then, well, you have to lay down and and I'll, I'll talk you through it. It's it's hard, but yeah, that's another thing. And you just you know, you, I think about that, and that is just a lot of you never realize how much tension is in your body. And also, um, I I've found that when I do work out, I just feel better. Like um, even though it's not letting the body be still i find that it still releases tension that mm -hmm. i have um i really like running because i do the hard thing and then my body stops and i'm like oh that's that thing that was making my head hurt or that's why my neck was hurting because i had my shoulders all the way up yeah, to my, my shoulders ears. be trying to help everything. yeah the 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 your body just tells you so much it gives you so many cues it holds everything you just gotta listen to it it'd be talking to you it really be, it really be, be trying stressed to tell you my eyes wrong. be twitching like yeah my left eye has been bloodshot on and off for the last couple of weeks because my ass needs to go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> so if you um listen to your body your your physical well-being is what's going to help you support your mental well-being. Right. Like I said, the um, when I do the resting, mm -hmm. that's my form of meditation. So I lay there and I let different parts relax. And then also, going into the mind, you let, you're trying to get your mind to relax, which is really hard. Yeah. It, it starts out racing. You got to let it race and all this stuff going through it. But you um, you get to a point where it kind of calm, where it, not kind of, but where it calms down eventually. And you're not, you, you're not necessarily, you don't stop thinking or anything like that. But it just gives you time to like not have to think so much about everything. You know? Yeah. Uh, there's like um, I don't know. Mm, I think I think I've said this on another podcast. I really re I really be repeating myself, but Headspace again has all those like commercials, and I think one of my favorite lines is, "Don't try to force the thoughts out that pop into your head while you're meditating, because that's." also taking you out of your meditation mm -hmm. the thoughts that pop into your head whether they're negative or positive are just thoughts and yeah. you trying to actively force them out takes you out of your meditation and it also you're shaming yourself while trying to release yourself from negative thoughts you know what i mean and usually for it's, me, it's counterproductive one of the I usually write after that, and then it turns into one of my word collections. <laughs> the fact that you call them word collections. <laughs> because I call them word collections. Because poem doesn't feel right. Because I don't have a structure for it, and I'm not a trained writer or anything. Not that everybody who writes is a trained writer, but it just feels better for me. It's a collection of words. That's what it is, a word collection. It's not a poem. It just feels better to me. There's no expectation for it. Yeah. I'm not trying to put it a certain amount of words in a line and yeah. then it's next line and then this has to match this and you know yeah. what I mean? It's just a collection of words and they mean something to you if they mean something to you. If you allow them to. 
and that's it. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how I. That's how I. Uh, that's self care for my mind. Cause those are like my deepest uh, thoughts and stuff, and that's how I get it out. I Best ain't... way I can. I got because I, got uh, I don't have haven't been choreographing or dancing or anything like that recently. Yeah, I that's why I'm really falling apart. I really need to move my body. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I clear my mind. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any like. I don't have any anything. <laughs> to be honest. I'm just trying to be so I was I was reading for a little bit but nothing is ever like I'm doing this thing and this is what I do every day the only time I had something like that was when I didn't have to physically go into work when everything was virtual mm -hmm. I was like okay every day at three o'clock I can do this and then before I go to bed I can do this because I was I was in control of my schedule right um, and you would think, you know, with the stress of everyday life that it would be the opposite. Like, okay, I need to up my self-care. I need to do more for myself. But nah. This is another thing we were talking about yesterday at work. Um, we were talking about during that time when everything was shut down. You really, I really don't realize all the shit you really were going through. Yeah. Because you're in it at the moment. Mm -hmm. So you're just like trying to survive. But then once everything shut down, you're like, damn, like I really was driving over the bridge how many times a week? A lot. You were doing a lot. But I was just in it. Just doing and it. And I yeah. didn't feel like I was doing a lot. But also there was a lot going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. Car accident, didn't have a car, had another car, had issues with family and I was breaking down. You were like, just keep going, just keep pushing. Because that's all you can do. I, I think being um, the lockdown really um, helped everybody value their time. Mm -hmm. And like really understanding what time is and how it's fleeting. But also that that you need to have time devoted to you. Mm -hmm. And it really showed everyone how much they give, 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 but never take anything for themselves. Mm -hmm. you, you can't pour from an empty cup. You know what I'm finna say? What? I wrote something. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote something about this. <laughs> You know, I wrote something about this. We should go back to every podcast <laughs> and make like clips of each time you said that and put it all together for the grand finale. But yeah, your mind. It's an important, important structure. It is. And you got to take care of that out. Um, you know, you know, what actually really was very therapeutic mm -hmm. was me working on my website. Mm. Um, because I finally had words. And I know what I want it to be. And um, it took a couple hours. Yeah. And to like write stuff out and then delete it and then rewrite it and then delete it and then sing some words to a song yeah. and then rewrite I think and that's because you're dedicating time to yourself. Yeah, right? Self-care. Crazy. You just gotta take the time to actually dedicate <laughs> and be like I Yeah. And not think about it as work. Yeah. This is something else I gotta do. Damn. I just realized I had work to do. I didn't do it yesterday. It's okay. It's okay. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you just reminded me. I looked at the time said, oh, yikes. Yeah, they'll live. 
So <laughs> <laughs> we got the mind and the body. And those things are meant to be connected. Mm. Mind, body. And then you got a third component. Soul, baby. That spirit. I'm a soul, <laughs> man. <laughs> now, I've, I've talked about this before, about my time when my soul had disappeared from my body. <laughs> that shit was like, all right, I'm out. And I was on earth. My body was on earth going through the motions. Earth. Earth. <laughs> earth. <laughs> going through the motions. And, you know, your girl sprained an ankle. She failed a couple classes. I don't know what was going on, but my soul had checked out. And my body was just flailing around. And my mind was just gone. But, you know, I had to just keep moving. So how do you feed your soul? You, I don't think you would, like, you would know, you know? Yeah. Because I was still the same person. How do you but feed you, but your you soul? Weren't. There are different ways to feed the soul, um, which is, you know, one of the top answers <laughs> for me, probably for you, mm -hmm. is dancing. Mm -hmm. that's that's where the hobbies and stuff come from mm -hmm. you're given things that you really care about and love in life um not just to focus on but to explore and <laughs> there's certain things that are different for different people whether it be the arts or just you know a lot of people love crosswords mm -hmm. and stuff like that Ooh, i haven't done a sudoku puzzle in a long time or people who just like to we got plenty at the store. People who Those like to get just, me going, man. Like to just read or, <laughs> you know, watch movies or whatever. I feel like there's small feeding, things and there's bigger there's bigger things. Yeah, feeding the your soul is about joy. Mm -hmm. Ah, so what I've what I've ha what I'm, I'm over here talking about body and my back. <laughs> <laughs> Twist it. <laughs> Sorry, you can continue. Um, I realized that um, even though I should be asleep right now, going out these last couple of Fridays or weeks has made me feel better the next day. Even though I'm tired, I just feel more alive because I wasn't just floundering around. You got out of your I, cycle. Yeah, I, I broke out the cycle and I actually did something. I mm -hmm. had social interaction. I left the house. That's that's a, the little bit of joy. You know what I mean? I, I think that's feeding your soul is doing something that brings you joy. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily have to be anything that's... um groundbreaking like you said it could be the little things yeah like something like today i'm gonna i'm like, gonna bake cookies yeah you know like for me something smaller is i love i've said this before too i love just riding in the car and listening to music riding driving i love that that's a great day <laughs> that's all i need you know yeah but then there's dance. And I, I say that, I don't think I say it, but that's like when I dance, when I'm not like, um, you know, stuck in like some choreography or dancing in school or anything like that. But when I'm just dancing mm -hmm. with nothing attached to it or behind it, mainly this is what happens in performances. But that's like 100% me. Mm -hmm. that's like that's my soul living right yeah. there yeah I there's no me. feeling like that agreed my neck is broken <laughs> trying to hold that dang <laughs> headphone to your ear <laughs> agreed I I don't know um the hell was I about to say <laughs> I 
Yeah, I, I feel like dance is a whole nother category for me. It's mind, body, and soul connection. But I'm a, a firm believer in dance movement therapy that everything is connected and movement is the way out of a trapped mind. Um, so I feel like dance is on a whole, a whole nother level. I can't even put it in as my self care because that's like, that's like worship to me. Like when Tanya was talking about how she, um, shout out to Tanya Isaac. Shout out to Tanya wherever Isaac for one time. <laughs> wherever you go. <laughs> okay. So um, she was talking about how um, she would go to the like dance clubs and she would feel like she was in church. That's how dancing it, it, that's that is the most accurate description that anybody has ever said it literally feels like i'm closer to god like it just feels like i'm 100 percent connected to the yeah. universe and yet we wonder why we're so broken because when's the last time don't say that i will cry right now <laughs> don't you say dare it. say it gosh darn it don't say it <laughs> I'm just don't saying. do it to me. I'm saying that's where we need to get. That's that's where we need to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we need to go. Okay, I'm back. I went away, but I'm back. I'm back that's again. what I mean when I say like, there's nothing else. There's a little for me. I'm trying to figure out. We not finna get back into that. We talking about <laughs> self care, <laughs> self care, self care. Yeah. So take in, take care of yourself. I'm talking to me. I'm talking to Jada. I'm talking to all y'all. We just be out here struggling, and it could all it could all be so simple. It could, but it's it requires but a lot of work in each area. It does. It it. It, it requires work. It you requires have to put work into work. yourself. You have to put the maintenance into yourself. Correct. You put the money into the car for them to do the job. No, I don't. Say so. you do. <laughs> <laughs> you just got your car back. <laughs> you talking two about? Damn months. <laughs> um, you got to put work into yourself. Yes, correct. And yeah. then you also got go ahead get your nails done, get your hair done. Oh yes, I feel so you good feel when good. I go to the nail salon. When you look good. You feel good. Because I be looking like a hobo. No, I don't. But I I be looking. You don't dress how you would like to dress. I don't because I just don't have the energy for it. Yeah. I don't have the energy or the care. Yeah, the motivation. The motivation to put the care into myself to look a certain way, the way that I want to. Correct. You know, one step at a time. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So for my 25th birthday, because that's coming up. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to be a quarter century, just like my old friend here. Do you hear me? No. <laughs> you did the sound. No. I was singing Trina. Oh, ooh, ooh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so for my 25th birthday, I canceled uh, my birthday dinner. We were supposed to go to this, like, um, you know, black owned restaurant. It's all the rage. All the cool kids are growing. So I made a reservation. I canceled that shit. I don't want to sit at no dinner. I don't want to. Experiences are so much more important to me nowadays. Mm-hmm. And I really all I want for my 25th birthday is my two front teeth. <laughs> You know what I mean? I just want to be rejuvenated. I just want to feel whole, one with the universe. I really don't give a bump what I do mm-hmm. as long as I'm not working because I damn sure took off. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I just for 20, 22, I want rejuvenation. That's it for my 25th year. That's it. That's uh, that's all I want. If I could lay down 
underneath a waterfall, well, maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> I'd probably die. But, you know, if I could just lay in some water and float for a couple of hours, I'd do that. Mm-hmm. If I could go on a hike in the wintertime, I'd do that too. I just really need to do something outside with nature in peace. Mm-hmm. I'm not interested in bright lights and fancy clothes and, you know, loud dinners, expensive things. My soul just feels very depleted. Like I just feel tired, but it's a different kind of tired. And I've been here, I've been tired like this at least three other times in my life. And it's it's, it's getting pretty (laughs) annoying at this point. It's a little, um, I'm over it. <laughs> I understand 100%. You know, a couple, I've been thinking too a lot about like California. Because mm-hmm. that's where I've been dying to go my whole life. That's but... where I want to be. <laughs> and I was I thinking about years. why. And then the other day I asked myself that question again. Like, why are you trying to go to California? And then another part it answered, and it was like, because I'm looking for my soul. Damn. Damn, friend. Does that make any sense? It does. You're searching. Discovery. But that's what, that's what we're all doing. Just, we're, we're, we're searching. You're like, trying to find I know that it's thing a lot a lot of wild going. out there and they'd be like, Don't go to California. But I'm not looking for the things that the other people that are going are looking for. Yeah. I'm looking for air and my soul. Peace. And it's just always been there. Which is why you should go. That's where I'm going. Period. Ain't no choice. No, nah, you don't got no more choice. At this point, <laughs> that's where I'm going. At this point, you ain't got no choice. And that's what it is, y'all. On all levels, self care. Get your body together. Get your mind right. And let your soul be. Mm, find joy. That's, that's, you know, we're not going to end this off with a question. We're going to end it off with a challenge, with a. Um, <laughs> I had the word in my head that it left. It was a word that was stronger than challenge. A decree. That's not it, but it's close enough. I need everybody to go and do one thing that brings them joy this week. One thing. Yeah. Just one thing that brings you joy. It doesn't have to be anything fancy doesn't have to be anything big go do something for yourself and find something that brings you joy and stop sulking around the damn earth okay pull it together (laughs) (laughs) y'all y'all can do this y'all got yeah we we gonna do it together 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 forever best friends (laughs) So I think that's a good way to um, end it off. Well, damn. We'll see y'all next year. Yes, next year. <laughs> Be one of them people. It may have been rough, but y'all, we made it. This we is got, the 12th got, episode. Jada, this is the it. most consistent we've ever been with anything. <laughs> we got through it. We, we did, did something. It. We, we trying to do some more stuff for y'all. We try. Um, uh, it's my fault. My fault. but it's okay we're gonna get it going at some point but we just want to thank all our listeners who have been rocking with us from the beginning any new listeners just thanks for listening yeah you're taking your time time is important and it's precious and we Mm -hmm. like thank you for spending some time with us Mm -hmm. um i hope you enjoyed these podcasts and, you know, if there's anything you guys may want to talk about in the future, let us know. Damn, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> let, 
let us know what y'all trying to talk about and we can really discuss. We're trying to help each other out in the world. Me and Jalen are out here, you know, talking about our life and trying to figure it out. Mm hmm. Y'all struggling. It's okay. If y'all doing good, it's okay. That's Help okay us too. out. Give us some tips. Yeah. Let's figure it out together. And um, once again, thank you. Oh my gosh. Yes. I just had an epiphany, but it's okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> are we doing are we doing 14 or? We gonna do we we got two more episodes, y'all, to the end of the season. We're gonna make it pop. All right. We're going for fourteen for each uh season, we'll call it. Um, so yeah, two more episodes and we'll figure out something grand for the fourteenth. We'll see. These weeks be flying by. <laughs> Jada be like, you know we gotta do the podcast this week. I'll be like, damn, this week. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all it's been real thanks for rocking with us we out here all right peace